Hey, hey, what's going on, my YouTube family? How y'all doing today, man? Cowboy coming at you. I'm in the lab, man, looking at some football. Tuesday night football. We got the uh, Baltimore Ravens against the Dallas Cowboys tonight. So I thought we smoke one, and I share it with y'all. So what we doing today? I thought it'd be festive. I pull out the old humidor uh, by request once again. What I pulled out the old humidor was the old Legends 52 by Ray Lewis. This cigar was blended for Ray Lewis about five years ago. I believe five or six years ago by Rocky Patel. Also, the cigar was sent over to me with the Mike Dicker game time that I did a couple of weeks ago by my man E. Hunt from up in the shot. So E. Hunt, we getting ready to do this Ray Lewis tonight, babe. You know what I mean? I thought it'd be nice, man. Another legend cigar. I mean, the Baltimore Ravens are on TV right now. So what better time for Cowboy to review the cigar? So that's what we gonna do, man. Very good looking cigars, you can see. The bands are beautiful on the cigar. I'm really digging that brown leather looking color on the cigar. Cigar seems to just have just a single cap on it. Uh, cigar has minimal veins, very slick looking wrapper, man. It's got a very nice sheen to it. I mean, handsome, handsome looking cigar. But of course I can't smoke the band. So when I fire this thing up, if I can't move that band up out of the way for a little while, we're gonna have to just remove it. But on the smell, just on the outside wrapper, just uh, tobacco, some hay, and uh, we got some, what appears to be some dried fruit there. Some chocolate and sweet tea on the foot. This thing is dressed in an Ecuadorian Habano uh, wrapper. It has uh, two different binders in it, a Mexican and a Brazilian binder, and it's got Nicaraguan and Honduran fillers. So, Cowboy ain't gonna mess around, man. We're gonna move that beautiful foot band off of there, man. And we're gonna cut him up. We're gonna light him up. We're gonna smoke him up and see what happens. We're gonna do OV cut tonight on that beautiful looking stick, man. Good looking cigar. I just thought a V cut would be faster for it tonight. Took a nice cut there, as you can see. Very, very nice draw. Very open draw. Got some chocolate. A little sweet tobacco there on the cold draw. So we're gonna see if we can move that band up a little bit as I smoke it without destroying the cigar and see what's up. So let this get this thing heated up, man. Hope y'all having a good night tonight, man. I mean, we got some Tuesday night football on, man. You know, got the basketball game on. College is going, I mean to say, uh, you know, Duke is playing Illinois tonight. It's going to be a good game. So we paying homage to Ray Lewis tonight. Thanks to my man, E. Hunt. E. Hunt sent me the cigar, man, along with that Mike Dicker game time, like I said a little bit ago. And uh, he wanted me to review it because I had did a few other legend cigars by some uh, athletes. I think when this cigar was done with Rocky Patel, and I had that cigar before, the uh, Rocky Patel also did a cigar for a baseball player, Gary Sheffield. And that's been five or six years ago when I had the Sheffield, and I can't even remember how much I enjoyed it. I don't think that I disliked the cigar, but I don't, re I don't remember anything about it. So we're going to smoke this 52 Legends by Ray Lewis and see what's up. Beautiful Zycar lighter there.
looks to have taken a pretty nice light so far. Hopefully we're gonna have even burn. As you can see, the smoke is enormous. Great foot smoke on that thing. On the initial light up, nice sweet pepper note there on the, on the retro with some cedar. Nice, nice cedar wood note. Uh, nice earthiness there. And some chocolate, mocha, maybe, going on. Very nice mouthfeel to the cigar already. Yeah, sweet pepper spice on that retro. Nice wood, nice chocolate. Maybe some nutmeg, bacon spice there going on as well. Tasting pretty good right out the gate. So, Cowboy ain't gonna mess around with it, man. I'm gonna uh, get through the first third a little bit, man. Come back and let y'all know where we at on this Legends 52 by Ray Lewis. And this thing goes a six and a half by 52. Uh, of course, the ring gauge 52 would signify his number. But uh, good looking cigar so far, man. So let's see what we added at the first third. Y'all relax. All right, YouTube. We back with the Ray Lewis. Six and a half by 52. That would be a box press Toro. The 52 Legends by Ray Lewis. Rolled by Rocky Patel. As you can see, I'm pleased right now with the burn. So far, so good. Beautiful looking burn line. Beautiful looking ash. Like I say, the cigar is at least five years old. I think it was rolled about five years ago. Um, not a bad smoking cigar so far. Very nice retro hella cigar. It's got very nice smoke to it. It's got a great draw. I'm getting a sweet red pepper spice on that retro. Uh, the cigar also has a nice little spicy tobacco core to it going on right now. It's earthy. Got a nice woodiness to it. Um, a chocolate nut type flavor. Hmm. Even picking up a nice cinnamon or a nutmeg note. And I'm gonna say right now the cigar is smoking uh, medium plus on the strength, medium in body, and medium in flavors. It's got a medium finish to it as well. Not a bad smoking cigar. As I sit here watching the game, Dallas and the Baltimore Ravens. Dallas is up 10-7 right now. I don't have a dog in the fight, but I am pulling for the Ravens. <laughs> for you Cowboy fans out there, I can't stand y'all. Although I got this star on my chest, but that's for Converse. It has nothing to do with them. And my name has nothing to do with them either. It's Cowboy with a K. Capital K-O-W-B-O-Y. Cowboy gonna go ahead and smoke this thing down a little bit further, man get into the second portion of the stick come back and let y'all know where we at all right family getting down into this second third man of the legends 52 by ray lewis rolled by rocky patel just took that big band off the middle there, man. I really didn't want to remove that band. That band looks so good on the cigar, but great looking band. Great looking dress for the cigar. But sometimes you got too much band on a cigar. But as you can see, man, in that first third, man, I had a great burn. Now this burn is getting away from me here as we're going into this second third, man. I was trying to give it some time to catch up with itself. But uh, we're going to go ahead and touch that thing up, man. 
as I was sitting here, man, got a lot going on already, you know. I was sitting here watching the game, trying to smoke the cigar here, man, and get through the review. Got a notification that Ryan Reed was on doing a live. So I got Ryan Reel on over here on the live. We got the football game going on up top. And I got y'all with me right here doing this review. So we just touched that thing up, man. It's a good smoking cigar, man. I can't complain, really. I'm, I'm really enjoying the cigar. Not an overly complex cigar. Um, the flavors are pretty good. Not a whole lot of more flavors there in the cigar. I am getting that uh, that cinnamon, nutmeg type flavor. Got some coffee going on here in the second, third. Still getting that mild, sweet red pepper spice on that retro. Uh, the cigar's got a nuttiness to it. Uh, a nice little mild chocolate going still here on this, uh, this second, third. Got some leather there as well. Um, even picking up a dry fruit on this and a little bit of a, a citrus note as well. It's got a very nice aroma to it too. A nice cedar wood note. And a really, really nice earthiness to the cigar as well, man. Um, the spice that I got going, it's got a nice little spicy, mild spicy tobacco core to it. So I decided, man, I'll just go, go ahead and pull me up a little something, man. I pulled out my uh, my Knob Creek rye, pulled up a little bit of it to try with the cigar because I was really enjoying the spiciness. It's not over spicy, but it's a nice spice. But the, uh, the Knob Creek rye is going pretty good with it. Shout out to my man Ryan Real and old Lee Mac 912, man. Them guys was able to get together this past weekend um, in Pennsylvania. Up there with Jimmy G's man, Jimmy G. Uh, really enjoyed the video you guys put out, man. Thanks for all the love, man. As a matter of fact, I want to thank everybody for the love, man, that you guys are showing Cowboy, man. Say hello to my new subscribers, man. The subscriber list is getting up real close to 400. Didn't expect it, but I'll take it. But I'm serious when I say, man, for those people that su subscribe to me, uh, if you're not about the lifestyle, I'm not the one that you want to subscribe to because this channel is strictly for these whiskeys and these cigars, man. That's what I do. I'd probably have a lot more subscribers if I told anybody to subscribe to my channel, but this is strictly for us, man. But the cigar's smoking pretty good, man. So... Cowboy gonna continue to smoke this thing down, man. And uh, I'm gonna get down into the last portion of it, man. And I'm gonna come back and let y'all know what I think about the uh, Legends 52 by Ray Lewis, man. So I'll be back. Y'all relax. Right, YouTube family. I'm back with the Legends 52 by Ray Lewis, rolled by Rocky Patel, the six and a half by 52 box press Toro. Not a bad, bad cigar. I'm gonna say that the flavors have stayed pretty consistent throughout on the cigar. I'm gonna say that this cigar is gonna finish up medium in strength medium in body and uh, must call it medium in flavors as well cigars had a very very nice draw throughout I did have to touch the cigar up a couple times and I also had to do one relight on the cigar as well so we know that's gonna do something for the score on the burn I also begin to pick up on that last third a nice little floral note 
but all of the other flavors <clears throat> the red pepper spice on the retro the nice little citrus note the leather the nuttiness kind of died down here in the last third a little bit of slight chocolate is still there still got a very nice earthiness to it appreciate my man E Hunt for sending that to me I'm gonna say that the age probably did this cigar some good it's making it smoke a little bit better but uh, as Cowboy scores this cigar on my scale of 1 to 10 I gave the uh, the construction a 10 I give the burn an 8 I give the flavors an 8 I also gave the body an 8 and on the complexity and transition I gave it a 7 tally all that up we get an overall score of an 8.2 in my opinion on the legends by Ray Lewis for tonight so on my scale of 1 to 10 that makes this an above average cigar not a bad smoke glad I had an opportunity to smoke it so Cowboy not gonna hold y'all any longer tonight, man. I'm gonna get out of here and enjoy the rest of my evening. Finish watching the football game. That's my take on it. Peace.